Regnum Christi Daily Meditations, a service of the Legionaries of Christ. An R.C. Meditation for November 18th, 2024. Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Seeing with Faith. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside, begging. And hearing a crowd go by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. Introductory Prayer Lord Jesus, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You have given me life and offer me eternal life with you. You deserve my honor, gratitude, and love, and yet you never impose yourself upon me. Thank you for respecting my freedom so that I can offer myself to you. All that I have is yours. I return it to you. Petition Lord, grant me greater faith in your constant and continual presence in my life. First Reflection Begging by the Roadside How many times in life have we felt like this blind beggar sitting by the roadside, down and out and hard on luck, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. Witnessing our distress, some people simply walked by without a care. Maybe they tossed us a coin, though they didn't really help us out of our discouragement or difficulty. Others might have jeered at us or not dared to look at us. Some may even have scolded us, like the people in the gospel telling the beggar to be silent. Just as the blind beggar of today's gospel could not give himself what he most desired, sight, we are unable to give ourselves what we most need, faith. Do I regularly ask for an increase of faith? Am I aware of how much I need a strong faith? Second Reflection Jesus is Passing By The book of Job tells us that life on earth is a drudgery. It shouldn't be surprising, then, when in our lives as Christians we take some real blows and even some falls. God doesn't want us to become discouraged. He wants us to see these as opportunities to turn to Him, the source of the strength and help we need. Other voices will tell us to be quiet and not bother the Master. After all, you just need to work things out. With so much going on, how can you find time to pray? Jesus constantly passes by. He is the only one who can bring me the peace my heart desires and longs for. Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. Third Reflection Lord, please let me see. Jesus promises us that He will listen to our request, just as He did to the blind man. But what should our request be? To have a more comfortable chair so as to sit by the road and beg with ease? To have a beautiful silver cup to collect coins in? Or to see? Often, what we really need is not what we ask for in prayer. We need the vision that only the supernatural virtue of faith can give. We need the ability to see everything from God's vantage point and to see how the difficulties and trials we experience are part of a bigger picture. We need to have the firm assurance of the final victory of the Lamb, Jesus, and the strength to persevere in fidelity. Lord, please let me see. Please increase my faith. 
Conversation with Christ. Lord Jesus, allow me to praise and glorify you for your constant companionship and for never leaving me alone in my struggles and trials. Increase my faith so that I will be able to experience your love even amidst difficulty and trials. Resolution I will pray three Our Fathers for an increase of faith among my family members. For more resources, visit regnumchristi.org or download the Regnum Christi English app today.